it's a big cheer. Yay! <laughs> They're bright, super sized, and pretty comfortable too. You've probably noticed the colorful Adirondack chairs placed around Garden Grove, and you may have also wondered why. Oh my God, that's a big chair. Well, it all started with Garden Grove resident Melody Van Horbeck and her son Taylor. Every year for my cancer-free anniversary, he would do something for me. And one year I kind of nudged him towards the Adirondack chair. It didn't take long for other city residents to take notice, including Mayor Steve Jones. And I finally worked up the nerve to just go knock on her door one day and, and ask her about it and ask if she would mind if we borrowed the idea to bring into our downtown reimagine program. That's when the city decided to partner with the Southwest Carpenters Training Fund in Buena Park where local apprentices could master their skills while lending a hand to the community. This is a great opportunity for our apprentices to learn how to build, take measurements, put stuff together, and then something later on, it's tangible because you can go back to like Civic Center and see what you did. Hard work didn't stop there. It took some serious muscle to transport the 600-pound, 10-foot-long giant seeds. Yeah, oh, that one. From Village Green to Civic Center, the city hopes the colorful chairs will become somewhat of a landmark for downtown Garden Grove. We wanted people to think about the downtown in a different way, not being just Main Street, but extending all the way from 9th Street over to Nutwood. And the Adirondack chairs just came forward as that opportunity to say, you know you're in downtown when you see the oversized Adirondack chairs and regular sized Adirondack chairs in multiple colors throughout the downtown area. In the future, the city will unveil a mobile museum in this downtown area where visitors will be able to scan a QR code with their cell phone and brush up on some Garden Grove history. Reporting for GGTV3, I'm Rachel Jordan.